today we're going to be taking a look at the best of the best in rise of kingdoms we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 highest kill points in the entire game it's been over three months since the last episode of this series and there's been some crazy kvks that have happened and yes the rankings have shifted a little bit and the other day i would say about two or three weeks ago i made a video going over the top 10 most powerful players in the game and anytime that i do that i always get a bunch of people asking for me to release a video covering the highest kill points but I've also found that historically the kill point videos get a lot fewer views which means you guys aren't really that interested in it so if you guys want me to continue covering the highest kill point leaderboard in rise of kingdoms drop a thumbs up on this video that'll let me know that you do want me to continue doing this and if you haven't subscribed already consider doing that as well but first what's going on guys cheers okay without further ado let's jump into the top 10 highest kill point players in rise of kingdoms for quarter one of 2024 coming in at number 10 is a player whose name translates to I think cocooning which I guess means like they're chilling I don't know sorry if if that's completely wrong but they're in kingdom 1671 rocking the France civilization in the Akan Alliance currently sitting at 284 million power and 49.1 billion kill points if we take a look at the breakdown here we have 38 billion of which are tier 5 which is crazy 10.8 billion of which are tier 4 units which is very impressive taking a look at the more info section you'll see they have 150 million dead troops and their highest power ever was 513 million popping over to the album we can see that they've got about 20 million dead troops all of which are tier 5 units which is crazy checking over here we have 20 27.4 million dead p5 units in a single kvk and here you could see that they made it on the official rise of kingdoms top 10 players by power loss list it looks like they came in at number two here this was back in january of 2023 but this was official data from about a year ago very impressive stuff here we're gonna drop a we're gonna drop a heart on all these pictures because this is very crazy stuff heading over to the commander view you'll see huo Tarek, nevsky and attila some pretty interesting choices here honestly um attila they must have been doing like some city rallies or something I feel like you don't typically see Attila leading too many rallies these days unless you're hitting a player but guys this is the only player on the list that has less than 50 billion kill points isn't that crazy last time we did an episode of the series only the top five had over 50 billion and now pretty much the entire list has 50 billion moving on to number nine we have the achievers X in kingdom 3088 now this account I've talked about in the past this account used to be number one on these lists because this this account used to be called good father and this account hasn't really done that much since it was since the name changed so I don't know what happened to this player if it's even still the same player I have no idea but I will say that in the last episode of this series they had 45 billion kill points and now they have 51.5 billion kill points sitting at 211 million power so so still hanging out in the top 10 list uh last time they were number six if I remember correctly they are currently rocking the Germany civilization which tells me they're probably in between kvks in the 88m alliance and their kill point breakdown is 39.4 billion kill points for tier 5 and 12 billion kill points for tier four so still pretty impressive stuff there most of it is t5 here you can see that they are champion above league for champions of olympia really interesting it looks like they really love that game mode we have 36 out of 49 wins for arc of osiris and we have one autark for kvk so congratulations to those guys jumping over to the more information section you can see their highest power ever was 512 million with 203 million dead troops so significantly more dead troops than the previous entry on this list so really crazy stuff from this account here taking a look at the album here you could see that it looks like they have another account achievers z or something like that i'm not sure what this is honestly this might be for a kvk or something like that here we see enemy elimination coming in at number 12 really cool stuff here and here you could see that achiever z is the uh leader of the alliance i guess jumping over to the commander view we actually get a chance to look at their talents so we have expertise huo nevsky gorgo and once again we see attila here let's take a look at the talents for the huo and we skip out on undying fury over here okay grab rejuvenate only two points in clarity okay this is a really interesting build i guess rally and cry would make sense for huo if you are microing the micromanaging the march i guess i don't know is this the build that i would use for huo i'm not not really sure but who am I to judge obviously they got way more kill points than me looking at the Nevsky we see a more traditional build here we have the feral nature five points there and of course they grab emblazoned shield and undying fury 
this is a very standard build I think that's what I use Attila we came over here and grabbed entrenched okay so this is just strictly a rally build here they don't have fight to the death hmm, interesting okay no fight to the death we have emblazoned shield um I would probably I don't know I feel like fight to the death is probably something that you would want here obviously martial mastery makes sense for Attila and then looking at the Gorgo we see the balance we also grab loose formation to pseudo formation and we got a March speed on this build okay so this must be like an open field PVP build I guess interesting stuff here a lot of people use Gorgo for open field PVP so hey I mean if it works it works nice what's the Suleiman got yeah that's what I thought it's pretty much garbage man it's nothing how about the Moctezuma okay that makes sense yeah anyway moving on to number eight on the list we have Luna from Kingdom 1777 rocking the France civilization in the Luna Alliance and currently sitting at 51.6 billion kill points with 141 million power Luna just barely beats out ninth place by 100 million kill points impressive stuff here we have 40.5 billion kill points of tier 5 and 10.9 billion kill points for tier four I feel like that's a lot of tier one kills I guess I mean maybe this player is the one responsible for zeroing non-performers in their kvks and they just get a bunch of t1 kills from that I have no idea how people get so many tier one kills jumping into the album we have a couple of pretty much the same posts that we saw last time I think that Luna was in this list looks like we have some sort of love story in kingdom 1777 going on here okay that's kind of cute I like that oh look and they even made the 77 in here oh my goodness king and queen it's so precious that is so precious anyway it looks like they are in the ascendant sage league for champions of olympia and they have what 834 battles wow here we have 56 out of 68 wins for arc of osiris and two lost kingdom participations but uh unfortunately no autarchs there coming into the more information section we can see their highest power ever was 211 million with only 58 million dead troops so that's significantly less than everything else we've seen on these on the list so far but hey i mean the kill points speak for themselves i mean it is what it is luna's an open field god apparently coming into the commander view we see juge leung Heracli Nevsky Henry and we have Joan of Arc as the gather that's the wrong that's the wrong Joan of Arc what are you doing Luna you're supposed to use the purple one for gathering you silly goose we do not have access to the talent builds here unfortunately but it looks like uh Luna is perhaps a garrison player good stuff also probably a rally player as well moving on to number seven on the list we have a familiar face here and this is GT Leopard in Kingdom 1960 and you knew you knew 1960 would have multiple people on this list I'm just gonna spoil it because you already know the drill okay GT leopard rocking the ottoman empire civilization sitting at 51.9 billion kill points at 453 million power looking at the breakdown we have 41.2 billion tier 5 kill points and 10.6 billion tier 4 kill points looks like we have the champion league oh my god 2600 battles fought that's crazy we have 68 out of 75 wins everyone knows 1960 is insane at Ark of Osiris three championship titles and they did claim their autark position jumping into the more information section you'll see that the highest power ever was 612 million with 220 million dead troops that is definitely the highest so far in this video and everyone knows GT Leopard is an absolute savage coming into the album here this is big flexing okay big big flexing listen uh GT Leopard I do I do not have a vehicle um so if I could just borrow one of your vehicles perhaps your yacht that would be great I don't know if this album has changed at all since we've seen it last I, we've seen this picture before but yeah GT Leopard next time you're in New York City just let me know I'll I'll, I'll come by and you know whichever what are you, whichever car you don't like the most whichever one you hate okay if you don't like any of your cars I'll, I'll happily I'll take it off your hands I will be I am I'm so generous that I would do that for you I'm kidding of course obviously anyway looking at the commander view we have Huo Juge Leong Nevsky and Tarek everything else here is pretty much self-explanatory I would not want to be hit by a GT Leopard Tarek rally that would be absolutely devastating oh look at that moon and four stars baby oh my god it's beautiful coming in at number six is Clubman in Kingdom 1175 Clubman is rocking the Germany civilization and they're sitting at 
54.4 billion kill points boys at 102 million power that is insanely impressive and also this is a player in Mimi's Alliance so Mimi if you saw the most powerful video from a couple of weeks ago you are familiar with Mimi we've obviously talked about Mimi's accounts multiple times on this channel and this is a, a member of the excited Mimi world another very famous kingdom and Alliance taking a look at the breakdown we have 45.5 billion kill points for tier 5 and 8.7 billion kill points for tier four jumping into the more information section you'll see that their highest power ever was only 157 million which is very impressive for this level of kill points I mean it's actually insane and you could tell here only 78.5 million dead troops not the lowest on the list but definitely quite low given the circumstances even still though I mean to be number six on this list is insane at that power so congratulations to club man hopping over to the album we can see uh I don't know what's going on here looks like maybe they're holding hands or I don't uh I don't know is that is that Golden Kingdom oh man I'm so sorry club man anyway looking at the commander view we see Guan Yu Boudicca Prime Zhang Yu and Henry the fifth so this is all pretty standard stuff here stuff that you might expect although the Zhang Yu and the Guan Yu are a little bit old at this point I'm guessing maybe they haven't updated this in a while also they're rocking Germany right now so they're probably in between KVKs anyway and everything else here is uh hidden moving on to number five on the list we have Peacemaker 68 now this player used to be known as Peacemaker 8888 which I think they recently changed their name or I don't know how it works obviously this is now in Arabic but they're currently in Kingdom 2268 which makes sense here and they're rocking the Ottoman Empire civilization sitting at 55.7 billion kill points at 343 million power they're currently in the aqua magnifica alliance and if we look at the kill point breakdown they have 44.2 billion kill points for tier 5 and 11.3 billion kill points for tier 4. again i'm genuinely asking where do people get so many t1 kills is it from killing other player cities like i don't i don't know it seems shocking to me anyway looking at the champions of olympia they're currently in brilliant silver and they've won 42 out of 58 arc of osiris matches they currently have one autark out of two lost kingdoms which is crazy look at that you it's killed here that's nuts jumping into the more information section we'll see that they have the highest power ever of 520 million and 174 million dead troops very respectable we've seen lots of things in this range for this video very very good stuff here taking a look at the album we have another collector of vehicles again I'm gonna I'm gonna say it again I do not have a single car it looks like you've gotten multiple so if you'd like you know you could potentially uh get get you know one of those could maybe not I could take one off your hand okay <laughs> not funny the second time on New York anyway he's also got a boat apparently which is sick and I have no idea what this is I'm guessing this is a bottle of some sort of alcohol or wine or something like that I bet you this costs more than my rent and I live in New York City so that's saying a lot here we have the season accolades we have peacemaker at the very top of the kill and healing leaderboard impressive stuff we have Mr Hope and Wild Lion over here for the highest deaths as well Amad Aziz oh my god this is an insane accolade leaderboard my goodness absolute giga chad account over here taking a look at the commander view we have Guan Yu Zhuye Liang Huo and Henry we see a lot of Henry as the charge captain and everybody knows the Henry rallies they do be popping off moving on to number four on the list we have another familiar face and that is GT Arvix in Kingdom 1960 you guys knew it we would see Arvix on this list they're typically on this list currently rocking 57.1 billion kill points rocking 355 million power Germany civilization of course 1960 does not need any introduction to this video looking at the breakdown we have 45.7 billion kill points for tier 5 11.3 billion tier points for tier four currently in the glorious gold champions of Olympia League 816 battles fought we have 50 out of 55 wins for Ark of Osiris that makes sense I mean come on right I mean come on we have one autark title for their one time participated in the Lost Kingdom most units killed very crazy stuff here heading over to the more information section you'll see their highest power ever was 823 million with 315 million dead troops that is by far the highest on this entire higher list so far which is not surprising considering the power drop here is wild and of course because Arbix is a literal savage hopping over to the album here we have Luffy from Dragon Ball Z and a cute little screenshot next to Ahmad Aziz which is nice jumping over to the commander view we have Boudicca Prime Zhuge Liang Guan Yu and Tarek Guan Yu in the charge captain slot is very interesting and also you left a comment 
comment about my about my Dragon Ball Z reference, didn't you? I I know where he's from. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to bait the One Piece fans. Okay, I need more engagement on these videos. All right. Anyway, now that I've pissed off a bunch of people, let's move on to number three on the list, and that is none other than Ahmad Aziz. Once again, Kingdom 1960 needs no introduction, and there have been many times in the past where Ahmad Aziz, I believe, has landed at number one on this list. And in fact, I just checked that was the case back in June of 2023. He was number one, currently sitting at number three with 58.5 billion kill points which is wild sitting at 204 million power if we take a look at the breakdown 46.8 billion kill points from tier 5 11.5 billion kill points from tier 4 jumping over to the more information section we see highest power ever was 488 million and 207 million dead troops once again very respectable very nice stats here on this account we have 51 out of 61 arc wins and one autark claim from the one participation currently rocking the ottoman empire civilization which is nice and if we take a look at the album I think that this stuff is things that we have already seen before. Ahmad Aziz is an absolute savage. Look at the trade here. Nice. This looks like maybe a before and after KVK right here, because we've got the Germany civilization. Here we've got France. And then they went from 300 million power to 255, but they got 11 billion kill points in the meantime, which is wild. Here we see the Hawks Alliance coming in here. I think we've seen this stuff before. And this looks like a, uh, well, I don't know anything about baseball, so I'm not sure. That's, that's another bait right there. I know. Anyway, moving over to the commander view, we have Boudica Prime, we have Nevsky, Liu Che, and Tarek. Now, this is this is a really respectable lineup here obviously up to date obviously they know exactly what they're doing and we've got Honda Tadakatsu over here as well interesting anyway moving on to number two on the list and you're not gonna believe it but this is Baba TC Ataturk now previously this was the number one player on this list and they are no longer in that spot currently sitting in kingdom 2489 obviously baba needs no introduction to these videos we've talked about him a ton on the channel over the years in the celestial guardians alliance with 60.6 billion kill points currently sitting at 1 billion power just casually chilling at 1 billion which is insane looking at the breakdown we have oh my god so close to 50 billion kill points of tier 5 alone bro baba actually has more tier 5 kill points then the number 10 player on this list has kill points in total okay number 10 remember that was cocooning that player had 49.1 billion kill points in total baba has 49.9 billion kill points of just tier 5 10.6 billion of tier 4 absolutely mind-blowing the amount of kills that this player has like baba is an absolute savage looks like he's in brilliant silver with 400 battles fought he's landed in champion before we have 51 out of 66 arc wins and two participations in lost kingdom it looks like no autarks but a ton of units killed for a single kvk hopping over to the more information section you can see that the highest power ever was 1.3 billion which is wild and almost 300 million dead troops oh my god baba is an absolute legend hopping over to the album and we've seen all these pictures before so i'm not going to go over these again but baba if you ever want to get rid of a vehicle just you let me know okay taking a look at the commander view we have yui leong guan yu trajan and justinian for the charge captain and justinian makes a lot of sense here he absolutely does pop off in the rally role constable is very interesting i guess i mean many people still use trajan obviously baba's rocking seven arches so perhaps the trajan is in that final march and i'm sure that he's got the equipment and all of the armaments you need to make that effective and finally coming in at number one for the current highest kill points in the entire game this player wears the crown right now for being the most savage player in rise of kingdoms and that is none other than osno in kingdom 1093 currently sitting at 63.3 billion kill points taking a look at the breakdown we have 50.2 billion of tier 5 12.9 billion of tier 4 an absolutely insane amount of kill points especially the t1s are a lot lower than a lot of people we've seen on this list so far very very impressive stats here absolutely ridiculous and only 114 million power in the 93t scuffed tigers alliance with the france civilization obviously this player has been on these lists before i don't know if they've ever been number one last time they were number two on the list now of course they're comfortably at number one with three billion more than baba which is crazy looks like they do not 
not play champions of Olympia and we've got 51 out of 58 Ark of Osiris wins with a single autark victory here from the one participation which is crazy take a look at the more information we have highest power ever was 322 million down to 114 nice and of course 166 million dead troops it's not the highest on this list but it is very respectable considering the amount of kill points that they pulled down for those troops is insane jumping over to the album we can see a couple of things that we've already seen before here a couple of leaderboards and things like that and finally we can jump over to the commander view and we can see huo jue leong nevsky and once again henry in the charge captain position these are all prime suspects great choices for the commander view and that's going to do it that is the top 10 highest kill points in rise of kingdoms these days if you want to see more more kill point videos in the future make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and it lets me know that you want to see more top 10 kill points also consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kings video and comment down below which of these 10 players do you think has the most impressive stats I would love to hear from you guys down there and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace